All right, guys, so I understand some basic mechanics, and I understand that when you have a turbo inside a 168 horsepower off-road machine, and you're sitting on top some 91 octane gas, sometimes bad things happen. So what are you gonna do when you're out in the middle of nowhere? I hope your answer was grab a fire extinguisher, but where are you gonna mount it on this? We're gonna show you how, where, and why coming up. All right, guys. So I picked up this uh, first alert uh, fire extinguisher at uh, my local shop. Um, it's a pretty nice uh, piece here. Um, it's a white bottle, which I think will uh, blend nicely with the uh, accents on the color of my rig. But uh, that's not really the reason I bought it. The reason was what I mentioned earlier. Uh, turbo cars run really hot and uh, you never know when something's gonna combust, plastic, gas, whatever. Um, you gotta be able to have a little bit more than just sand or dirt to throw on a fire. Um, so get you one of these. So in the same visit, my dealer assured me that these would fit. Um, it's a nice little uh, row bar uh, cage mount system here. And uh, where I'm gonna mount these is on the driver's side uh, bar and I don't want it inside the driving compartment um, you would think that that would be a handy place for it but uh, for now I'm gonna put it on the underside of the back slanted bar here um, my reasoning is uh, you know I'm gonna jump out and uh, grab it right away um, and use it where it's close, most closest needed, which is near the engine. Um, and so that's why I decided to place it there. Um, later on, you know, I may have a smaller one or some other kind of one mounted inside, uh, but I don't really have any extra crossbars. Um, so for now, uh, this is where it's gonna go. So let's get started. All right, guys, here we go. Um, so one thing uh, you need to do, guys, as much as you hate to, read the instructions, understand the use of these fire extinguishers, uh, the methods, the techniques, uh, such as uh, where at the fire you should be uh, directing the stream at, um, for how long, uh, you know, it's very, very important. Um, and this is one little thing that I'm, I've never seen before, but this little green tab lets you know that it's fully charged. So you press it down, it should pop right back up and then it tells you that it's got a full charge. Uh, if it stays down, uh, time to uh, get rid of it and buy a new one because it's uh, dead. Um, I'm used to a little gauge, you know, there's probably other methods out there, I don't know. Um, and mine, to activate it, simply pull this pin here and then grab it, press the trigger down, um, and that's all there is to it. Now you see it comes with its own wall mount, um, very similar to ones used in the house and in my uh, toy hauler. Um, and in this case, it's just gonna be coming right on off. Don't need it anymore. So we're gonna remove it. Okay, and here's the clamps. Um, these are pretty nice, you know, it's got a nice uh, heavy duty uh, rubber, uh, kind of a cinch ring uh, here. I'm not sure what you call them. And then this part here that expands goes around your uh, roll cage bar and as you can see it's kind of a universal fit which is pretty handy it means you can reuse this if you uh, change roll bars or something diameter now as you can see here um, when you loosen this bolt right here it slips out the side and then the top kind of like a guillotine just opens up pretty cool huh now on top of that there's these three little kind of cammed adjusters so you can go with really large uh, roll cages down to uh, medium and the smaller stuff so um, there's not really any science to this I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fit it up there by hand see which one works best and uh, again guys like I always say put a little drop of Loctite blue removable Loctite uh, right there where the thread's going to make contact uh, trust me you guys you'll, uh, you'll save a lot of heartache and there we go guys, simple as that. 
I decided to uh, go with the handle pointed out, keeping the nozzle inboard in case of flying dirt or debris. I don't want to get it plugged up. Um, probably only a little chance of that ever happening. Um, I really like uh, the way it's uh, mounting. I think the brackets are uh, somewhat attractive and um, I'm really happy with it. So I guess that means we're safer now. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little how to installing a fire extinguisher under your UTV. It could be applied to really any 4x4 that has a roll cage or muscle car for that matter. And this is going to help me and Sassy have a more safer ride in the event of a catastrophe. All right, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, share this with your buddies, and like. That's a thumb right there. Doesn't cost you a thing. Helps us out tremendously. And folks, hit us up in the comments. Tell us what you think. And as always, links are available in the description if you want to get your own stuff for UTVs. And we'll see you on the next one.